Another person coming on stage for the first time. Ready for more fun? What do you say? Let's have a nice hand for the comedy of Mitchell Landon. Give him a hand. Mitchell Landon, there he is. Taking his time, no rush. He's applauding, he's almost here. And there he is, and he made it. Come on up. Come on. Okay. Hi, how you guys doing? I see a lot of laughs tonight. So, uh, my name is Mitchell Landon, and when my girlfriend first met me, she said, Mitchell Landon, you don't look anything like someone on Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> She's like, you look more like a contestant from Arabs Got Talent. <laughs> so, uh, I was at a liquor store one time, and the clerk goes, hey, I can't sell you alcohol, this is a fake ID. So, what are you talking about? She said, who's Mitchell? I said, I'm Mitchell. She said, yeah, nice try, Muhammad. <laughs> so, uh, I'm actually Puerto Rican and white. Not Arabic at all. And, uh, back here, white boy? What's up? Hey, girl. <laughs> What's up, Arikwa in the house? Uh. So, even though I'm uh, Puerto Rican and white, my family and friends still tease me. They're like, they look like a terrorist. <laughs> so, I, uh, went to a Christmas party a couple months ago. And before I can even get inside the house, some dude walks out and starts frisking me like he's part of the TSA. He just... Did you have to break out the wand? Dad. <laughs> so, uh, I'm originally from Virginia. Anyone from the South? I heard we had a Confederate soldier here earlier. Uh, so I know what you're thinking. A Muslim looking Puerto Rican from the South. Life must have been real easy for you growing up. <laughs> I, uh, last time I went home, I actually got kicked out of a bar. Uh, bouncer comes out, he said, yo, you gotta go. You're freaking everyone out. I said, why, because I look different than y'all? And he's like, nah, because you're in there dancing, yelling, jihad. <laughs> so, from Virginia, I moved to uh, New York to uh, be a professional salsa dancer. Thank you, thank you. I teach lessons after this, if anyone's interested. Um, but uh, for those of you who don't know what salsa is, it's a style of Latin dancing music. Um, and it's also a career path that I knew would disappoint my father. But uh, don't worry, Dad. Got a solid backup plan. Stand-up comedy. So, uh, to pay the bills, uh, by day I'm an electrician. Thank you. Sorry, buddy. I'm not union. Um, some dude comes uh, up at me at work, and he's like, Hey, uh, so I heard you were a dancer. What, are you gay? I said, no, man. What, what you think I'm gay because I was a dancer? No, because you're the only guy here wearing a leotard. So then he goes, Yo, you uh, know where I could get one? <laughs> so uh, my girlfriend's from Long Island. All right, all right. Which is great, because I've always wanted a girl with an attitude who couldn't cook. <laughs> I know. She doesn't know how to make sauce. I don't know what to tell you. All right, it's prego all day at my house. But uh, she gets on me from time to time. We fight. She said, Mitchell, you know what your problem is? You are afraid of commitment. And I said, what are you talking about? I just made a two-year commitment to Verizon. She says, yeah. Well, you know what? If you don't change, I'm leaving. Can you hear me now? So, uh, my girlfriend's pregnant. Uh, I'm proud to say that. <coughs> Woo! Thank you. Thank you. We're really happy. Uh, so, I decided it's time to make an honest woman out of her. So, last weekend, I went out. I bought a ring. Surprised her with a nice dinner. And when she came out into the kitchen, our song was playing. And uh, I, I get down on one knee. And I just say, 
Will you marry me? And guys, speechless. And after a moment, I go, well, what do you say? She says, Mitchell, you are not the father. Well, I guess you won't be needing this then. <laughs> oh, just save you 80 bucks. <laughs> so, uh, I was looking for a roommate. <laughs> and I uh, found one off Craigslist. And uh, before I went to go meet the guy, my friend's like, hey, dude, are you sure it's a good idea meeting someone off Craigslist? I'm like, yeah, you know, what's wrong with that? What's the worst that could happen? He said, well, didn't your girl get pregnant by a dude off Craigslist? <laughs> I know. Don't feel bad. I'm free now. It's okay. I'm good. Uh, so, my new roommate was cool. He was cool. Uh, until he started drinking all my beer, he wouldn't replace it. You know, started using up all my soaps and shampoos. Last night was the last straw, though. Came home from work, and he was wearing my leotard. Thanks, guys. Mitchell Landon, give him a hand. Mitchell Landon. My little house on the prairie.